Hey everyone, this is Jester Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is very special video for all of you guys. Today I will show you how you can jailbreak the latest iOS 14.5 on your Windows machine using the CheckRain jailbreak. If you're still not updated to the latest iOS version, just go to the settings and software update and update to the latest version. I have already updated to the iOS 14.5 and along with that surprisingly Checkrin team has also updated their Checkrin version that is 0.12.3 on your official website and the Twitter handle. So in this video I will tell you each and everything about this new version like what are the changes and what are the bug fixing and also I will tell you how you can jailbreak with this method on your Windows machine very easily because there are lots of things I need to tell you about this new update and many bug fixes and changes are there and there are also the Mac M1 support so I will tell you each and everything so just hit the like button for this and all the download links will be in the description blog link so you can easily download there so I will just go to my computer screen and show you the complete process now first I will go to the official Checkrin website and tell you the what are the changes and the bug fixes in this new update. You can see that the latest release is 0.12.3 with the support of the latest iOS 14.5 on the same devices like iPhone 5s to iPhone X and other iPad models that are supported with the Checkrin and they added the preliminary support of the latest Mac M1 chip. So now the M1 chips are also supported so that is the good thing so you can now run the Checkrin easily on that. And and also they have added the new force revert command line option to force root fs reverting without accessing the loader app so these are the notable changes in the new update and there are some notable bug fixes in this update like the loader app crash on the tv os 12 and the mac os version of checkrin also crashes and the terminal ui crash on the linux version so all these bug fixes are fixed in this new update and for the A11 devices like iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone X, still you need to remove the passcode and enabling the skip A11 BPR check while you have to jailbreak. And as I told you in the starting, they have added the support of the Silicon Mac like M1 but with the preliminary support of the devices. So they say that the, today they are releasing the Checkrin 0.12.3 with the support of the Mac M1 as a host. Due to some changes in the USB stick, you are required to unplug and the replug the lightning cable as a part of the jailbreak process. So these issues only affect in the A7, A9X, A10 and A10X devices like iPhone 5S, 7, 7 Plus, iPad 6 and 7 generation, iPad Air 1, iPad mini 2 and 3. So you can check out all the list given here. You need to unplug and replug the USB cable on the Mac Silicon to complete the jailbreak process. So these treatments only for the Mac silicon chips so other models and the other macOS versions and the Linux version will work perfectly on all these devices. So just check out the Checkrin official website for the complete information. Now let's talk about how you can run this Checkrin version on your Windows machine because there are no official support for the Checkrin for Windows. They have only added the macOS version and the Linux version but in this video I will show you how you can run the Checkrin 0.12.3 on your Windows machine using the custom iOS so file made by me i've already made the older version of the checkrin files so with this latest release i have updated my iso file also so links in the description you can download the latest iso file from there after the download you will get the zip file first you need to extract it so just right click on it and extract it any way you want you can use a winrar or any zip extractor after that you will get the iso file and the roofers for making the usb bootable now after that you will require a USB stick to make the USB bootable so insert in your system and then select the ISO file you have just downloaded so just click on select and select this ISO file Now once everything is set you need to select the partition scheme whether it's a GPT or MBR according to your system. This ISO file supports 32 bit and the 64 bit both architecture Intel and AMD processor are supported so you can easily run it on any system like if you have a new system or if you have a old legacy BIOS so it will work on both the PCs. After that click on start and it will start making the USB bootable. Now once the flashing part is done, just reboot your PC and go to your BIOS settings or reboot manager settings and select your USB to boot it from. The BIOS or reboot manager might be different for your PC. So you will get your USB name here, you need to just select. This ISO file support the old legacy BIOS and the new UEFI so I will show you the both mode so that you can run easily on any PC. So first I will show you the latest UEFI mode. 
So now you will get the bootloader. So wait for it. It will load the check in automatically after the five seconds. Now you can see here we have successfully run the CheckPoint 0.12.3 that is the latest version easily on your Windows machine using the custom ISO file. Now I will show you the second mode that is the old legacy BIOS if you have a old PC and you have not supported. Now I will show you the old legacy BIOS mode if you have a old PC and doesn't support the latest UEFI mode you can reuse the old legacy BIOS to run the check range. So it's very easy you need to go to BIOS section again and select the USB name and just hit on enter and it will run the check range just like we have did before. Now just wait it will load automatically. Now I have just show you how you can run check range on both the type of PC UEFI and the old legacy BIOS. Now simply connect your device. The first time you have to trust the device so click on trust and after that you will see the latest iOS version 14.5 on my iPhone SE first generation and it is fully supported. And if you have a 11 devices like iPhone 8, 8 plus and iPhone X you need to allow the specific option that is the skip A11 BPR check and then you can proceed. Now just click on the start button. Now from here you are device into the recovery mode. Now you need to put your device into DFU mode. So just follow the instruction on the screen. You have to press the button combination according to your device to put your device into DFU mode directly. Now it's done and showing all done that means the jailbreak is completed now you can disconnect the device it's completely supported the latest iOS 14.5 with a check range 0.12.3 now after that unlock your device and you need to connect to the Wi-Fi and the check range loader will appear after the 5 to 10 seconds on your home screen if it's not appear just see on the app library it will sometime goes into that now just click on the check range loader now just click on install Syria and after that it will install Syria on your device. Now the Syria is installed so let me just open it and show you it's working good. Now you can see the Syria is working and I'm running on the latest iOS 14.5 on my iPhone AC first generation. So it's fully compatible with the check range so you can jailbreak iPhone 5s to iPhone X. And if you have a other iPad model so that is also compatible. So you can try this method and easily jailbreak on your Windows machine using the check range latest 0.12.3. Now for more stable experience just go to the change log and update all the required packages of the Syria so it will give you more stability and the good experience of the jailbreak. So everything is set now the Syria is working good the check ring loader is also working good. So this is how you can jailbreak the check ring compatible devices with the latest 0.12.3 on your windows machine using the custom ISO file. And if you want to go back to your windows machine it's very easy just quit the check ring app and after that you will see terminal below you need to type reboot or a shutdown command and hit on enter. Then your system will be automatically reboot and just unplug your USB pen drive and then you will see your windows machine is started. So that's all for this video I hope you like the content so just hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.